Hey gang, Anthony Rads of Cabbage here, and I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on VirtualBox. So check it out. Here's VirtualBox right here. You're going to click New, and then give it a name. We're going to call this Ubuntu. Whoops. Ubuntu. Now this is Linux, Ubuntu, and I'm going to make it 32-bit because I'm going to be installing a 32-bit uh, ISO here. I'm going to bump up the RAM to 2048, 2 gigs of RAM. Of course, if you don't have 2 gigs of RAM in your machine, make it lower. Uh, click Next. I'm going to create a virtual hard disk now. Create. I'm going to choose VDI. Next. Dynamically allocated. Next. Ubuntu. I'll just leave that name, but if you want to change your name, you can totally change it like this. Uh, I'm going to leave it at Ubuntu, though. I'm going to up my... Uh, virtual machine size to 30 gigs here press create and then all you need to do I'm assuming you already have the ISO downloaded so you double click on the virtual machine to get it to run let's just give this a moment okay it threw on to my other whoop, my other deal okay hold on a second let me switch scenes here there we go so I guess this will this will have to work what you'll do is you'll search for that ISO by clicking that folder. You'll see I have a bunch, but I'm going to choose the i386. I got this by uh, BitTorrent, so you can do alternative downloads from Ubuntu. Uh, click Open and then click Start. Let me go ahead and throw it whoa, back over there. So here we go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay. And then just choose, you're going to let it capture, choose English, and you want to install Ubuntu. So you just push down, press enter on install Ubuntu. And then you just have to wait for it to load up, as you see. So you have to be a little patient during this process. Okay, now to get out of the virtual machine, you have to press the right control key, okay? It says capture, but I'm going to move this over just a little bit, hopefully. Uh, cancel. Here we go. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and let it capture again. So now I'm captured again. I'm going to click continue because I speak English. You can also see the release notes as you saw there. I'm going to download the updates while installing Ubuntu. So it just makes it a little easier for me. I'm going to go ahead and ignore the third party information. And I'm going to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. I mean, pretty much this is like a normal install at this point. So just click install now. It'll say, hey, do you want to do this? Just continue. And then choose your location, give all this information. So I'm in Phoenix, I'm gonna press continue. And while we're waiting for that to go, remember Gateway Community College, if you're in the Valley, come check us out. Um, so of course you can get college credits. I t am the Linux program lead instructor at Gateway Community College. So we, I, I have fun. I have fun in my classrooms. It's it's insane. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just type. I know I'm moving a little fast here, but give your name. I'm just going to put Tux Penguin, your computer's name. You can change this if you want. I'm just going to keep mine at the default tux dash virtual box the username will, for ubuntu will usually just be the first name in all lowercase now that's very important because linux is case sensitive so watch out for that um and then i just typed in a password uh if you're in my class please pick a password that you can tell me if you're not in my class then just pick a password you want but make sure it's a powerful password of course i don't care about the virtual machine that i'm creating so eh, i chose a fair one that i taught with a long time ago uh, you can choose whether it, you want to log in automatically or require the password to log in and you can also choose to encrypt the home folder I'm gonna leave that option unchecked press continue but it's really up to you if you want to do it so it'll copy the files it'll install the files it'll reboot the virtual machine and everything will be underway so pretty much you just let it sit there and just come back to it or do something else so again fast forward and post-production 
Okay, and now that the installation is complete, it tells you, and then you just click Restart Now. And then we'll let this go ahead and do its thing. Okay, so it's restarting. And here you go. You have successfully installed Ubuntu in VirtualBox. So congratulations. Uh, leave a like, share, subscribe, and as always, oh, give a comment too. Suggestions, you want to see something else? Just let me know. Um, but hey, as always, happy Linuxing.